2100 hours pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio pakistan the news read by ali ahmed first the headlines prime minister says besides minorities the identity of indian people themselves has been threatened by the new delhi government's fascist policies giving a policy statement over the evolving situation in middle east the in the senate foreign ministers has said pakistan will not allow its soil to be used against any country in occupied kashmir chairman abhc while paying great tributes to the martyrs of the fall on the 27th anniversary today urged international human rights organizations to probe gross human rights violations in the territory Gulf Cooperation Council, Arab League and European Union have expressed concern on the developments taking place in Iraq. US president has threatened severe sanctions against Iraq after its parliament called on US troops to leave the country. Pakistani squash player Mohammad Hamza Khan has won British Junior Open 2020 under 15 title in England. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan says regional peace is facing serious threats due to the Indian government's policies based on RSS ideology. Talking to a delegation of Virginia University in Islamabad today, he said the identity of Indian people themselves has been threatened by the Indian government's fascist policies. Strongly condemning the curfew continuing in occupied Kashmir for over 150 days, he said this tyranny of the Indian government has exposed its claims about democracy. Imran Khan said the present government believes in full protection to the rights of minorities and considering them as equal citizens of the country. About economic situation in the country, the Prime Minister said, economy has been stabilized owing to the strenuous efforts of the PTI government and now there is a clear improvement in the economic indicators. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has said Pakistan will neither allow its soil to be used against any country nor become part of any regional conflict. Giving a policy statement of the evolving situation in Middle East in the upper house this evening He said Pakistan can play a role in the reconciliation, peace and stability, but will not augment fire of war in the region. The foreign minister has said that his regional counterparts, including Iran, and emphasized on exercising utmost restraint to avoid any conflict in the region, as new war may have disastrous impact on regional countries. Shah Mahmood Qureshi said Pakistan does not support any unilateral action, as use of force cannot offer any solution to an issue. expressing apprehensions on the implications on recent incident of the killing of Iranian commander in US attack in Iraq Shah Mahmood Qureshi has said that this may lead the region to further instability especially chances of destabilization of Iraq and Syria have increased he said this may also negatively impact peace process in Afghanistan as well as can prompt Houthi rebels in Yemen to intensify their attacks on Saudi Arabia while Hezbollah can target Israel with rocket attacks the foreign minister has said growing tension in the region can also be used by india towards world attention from grave human rights in occupied kashmir and ongoing protest demonstration across the country against citizenship amendment act and national register of citizens he urged the international community the united nations and other world bodies to play their due role in averting any conflict in the region The foreign minister said our task force has been constituted in the foreign office to monitor evolving situation in the region. He said the European Union has also expressed deep concern over the situation in Middle East and it has urged the relevant parties to show restraint. Taking the flow, leader of the opposition Raja Zafarul Haq said, unfortunately the United Nations has not played its due role to resolve issues. He regretted over UN's inaction to resolve Kashmir issue. Adviser on Commerce Abdul Razak Daud said that Pakistan's ranking in ease of doing business has improved from 147 to 108 which reflects improvement against red tapeism speaking on emotion he said there is no ban on importing pharmaceutical raw material from India the house will now meet again tomorrow at 3 pm The National Assembly today unanimously passed a resolution condemning any sort of blasphemous contents 
by international and private organizations. The motion moved by Minister for Housing and Works, Tariq Bashir Chima, called for immediately banning of imports and publication of blasphemous contents. This is Radio Pakistan. Speaker National Assembly Asad Qaisar says Pakistan desires cordial relations with all its neighboring countries and believes in negotiated settlement of all issues. Talking to Saudi Ambassador Nawaf bin Said Al Malki in Islamabad today, he said Pakistan values its brotherly and time tested relations with Saudi Arabia. The Speaker National Assembly commanded the role of Saudi Arabia in socio economic development of Pakistan. Speaking on the occasion, the Ambassador Nawaf bin Said Al Malki said Saudi Arabia considers Pakistan as its sincere friend and our relations are getting stronger with every passing day. Pakistan has strongly rejected as fabrication the Indian propaganda about treatment of minorities in the country. According to a statement issued by Foreign Office spokesperson Aisha Faruqi, the BJP government's mischievous portrayal of isolated law and order incidents in Peshawar and Nankana Sahib as alleged persecution of minorities as part of its smear campaign against Pakistan. She said it is a desperate attempt to divert attention from the ongoing state terrorism in occupied Jammu and Kashmir and systematic discrimination against minorities in India. In occupied Kashmir, the chairman of all parties, Huriyat Conference, Sayyid Ali Gilani, has paid rich tributes to the martyrs of Sephore on the 27th anniversary today. Sayyid Ali Gilani urged international human rights organizations to probe the massacres and other gross human rights violations perpetrated by Indian troops in the territory. Indian troops had killed over 60 innocent Kashmiris and set ablaze 400 structures, including houses and shops, on 6th of January 1993 in Sephore town. In a statement issued in Srinagar, Sayyid Ali Gilani asked international human rights watchdogs to stand up for the subjugated people of occupied Kashmir at a time when Narendra Modi lead regime is making every effort to change the disputed status of Jammu and Kashmir. Former Indian Home Minister and Congress leader P. Ch Chidambaram has said that India has lost Kashmir. In a media interview in New Delhi, he said, we have practically lost Kashmir, as no democratic country can keep an entire population under siege. He said that the first step to resolving the Kashmir issue is to engage the people there in a dialogue and an engagement in a bilateral dialogue with Pakistan. The Gulf Cooperation Council has expressed great concern on the serious events and developments in Iraq. The statement Secretary General Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zaini called on the concerned parties to calm down, de escalate, and prioritize practical solution to the crisis in order to spare the region. While it's already tense, meanwhile, Arab League Secretary General M. Ahmad Abdul Ghaith has also expressed his concern over developments in Iraq and Arab region and called for calm. The United States President Trump has threatened severe sanctions against Iraq after its parliament called on U.S. troops to leave the country. Talking to media on Air Force One, he said, We have a very extraordinarily expensive airbase in Iraq and it costs billions of dollars to build and we are not leaving unless they pay us back for it. Hamza Khan has won British Squash Open 2020. U15 category, beating England's Yusuf Sheikh in final in England. After eight years, Hamza Khan becomes first Pakistani who claimed British Junior Open title. Mohammed Hamza Khan, Pakistan 3-0, beat Yusuf Sheikh of England in three straight sets, 11-4, 11-3, and 11-7. And finally, the weather. Rain with snowfall over the hills is expected at scattered places in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Upper and Central Punjab, Islamabad, Kilgit Baltistan, and Kashmir during the next 12 hours. However, heavy rain and snowfall may generate flash flooding in local nalas of northern districts of Balochistan. Heavy rainfall and snowfall may also trigger landsliding in hilly areas of the country. And once again, the headlines. Prime Minister says besides minorities, the identity of Indian people themselves has been threatened by the New Delhi government's fascist policies. <music> Giving a policy statement of the evolving situation in Middle East, in the Senate, Foreign Minister has said 
Pakistan will not allow its soil to be used against any country. In occupied Kashmir, Chairman APHC, while paying rich tributes to the martyrs of the fourth time on this 27th anniversary today, urged international human rights organizations to probe gross human rights violations in their territory. Gulf Cooperation Council, Arab League and European Union have expressed concern on the developments taking place in Iraq. U.S. President has threatened severe sanctions against Iraq after its parliament called on U.S. troops to leave the country. Pakistani squash player Mohammad Hamza Khan has won British Junior Open 2020 under-15 title in England. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com slash radiopakistan newsofficial.